Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the TarotEmpress.com. So I've shuffled the cards and laid them out and we can begin. Now, the first card that I'm looking at is showing to me that there's this element of sadness connected to the situation. I feel like someone is feeling, you know, a sense of regret, a sense of remorse, not knowing how to deal with their emotions, okay? So let's clarify this energy. This is one energy that comes up in situations where someone feels as if they let the other person down or someone feels as if they could have done more, but they didn't. And it causes a great deal of frustration in relationships, especially when you have this expectation of things to be wonderful and amazing. And then someone, you know, starts breaking promises, which just doesn't uh, fulfill the end of their bargain, what they signed up for in the situation. So I do feel like it's a card of, um, you know, frustration, waiting for something. Now, with regard to this particular energy, what I'm picking up is that it's revolving around communication. It's revolving around the fact that communication never happened like the way it should have. It feels as if one individual is watching the other person and waiting for them to say something. It could be that uh, someone is watching the other person on social media, which would make the situation even more interesting. I feel like with this particular energy, there's a sense that someone feels a sense of sadness over not saying something. It feels like that, right? Which is strange. But yeah, sometimes people regret not saying certain things. Now, I also see from the cards that... There's this very critical behavior. It's like someone is very, very defensive, very closed off. But, um, you know, they're waiting and watching, but they're feeling very annoyed about it at the same time, getting impatient. But also ready for a fight, but waiting for something to transpire in the situation, but not holding their breath. So I feel like there's regret over someone not saying something, right? There's a regret over not doing something potentially as well. And uh, one individual is watching the other individual, not holding their breath, but sort of trying to see if they'll act and do something. It's that sort of energy that I'm picking up. The next energy I'm looking at is showing to me that there's a lot of back and forth energy. It's like someone is trying to be as flexible as possible, trying to figure out a better way going forward, but can't seem to make up their mind. I hope this is making sense. So it feels like there's a lot of um, difficulty in terms of having clarity. There's a lot of difficulties in terms of having this positive movement forward. It feels like, you know, one individual is getting in the way of the situation. It feels like someone doesn't want to act or take any steps going forward. It's that sort of energy where there's a hesitation to basically do anything at this point in time. And I feel like someone is waiting for the other person to, um, you know, make a move or to say something or to do something in this situation, but it's not happening. Now, the card in the past position is showing that a lot of energy and effort went into this relationship, and now it feels as if all of that effort was for nothing. It feels like a lot of stress is being placed here, and it's hard to communicate what one individual is feeling versus the other. It's hard to get a message across in this particular situation. So I do sense that there's some difficulties uh, happening between you and this person concerned, right? Let's see. Yeah, I feel like everything has come to a halt. Everything has slowed down. 
and uh, they're not really getting uh, worked out in the way that it should be. It's not really getting balanced out in the way that it should. Let's look at the card in the past position. I feel like someone started withdrawing from this relationship for some time. There's definitely an indication of one individual leaving the situation and uh, not communicating. That's what I'm picking up from the cards. There was a lack of communication when one individual decided to back away from this relationship. And I'm sensing that in the past, it was difficult to reestablish another foundation. It was uh, difficult to reestablish any level of commitment between each other one individual went inside of their head and didn't want to come out. It feels like they were overthinking things, not wanting to show any emotion, left in a way in which there wasn't much closure. It feels like someone became very cold, very distant, and uh, it was hard. It was hard during that period of time because someone was ignoring the other person or the two of you were ignoring each other. And there just wasn't anything that might have been said between the two of you that could have changed things at that point. So I do feel like something happened very drastically and there was an ending and the two of you became very cold and distant to each other. It was as if both you and this person went inside of your heads, didn't want to come out, didn't want to say anything much. And there was a lot of thinking, but not a lot of talking. And so I get the impression that this withdrawal was happening gradually over time and the two of you were drifting off in your own way and pulling away from each other. So that is showing to me that um, this was some major, major thing that occurred and it caused this, uh, you know, uh, divide between the two of you. Now I see from the cards that there's a fear that it's over. There's a fear that the two of you can't come back together and... At the same time, you could be afraid that this individual is going out and meeting other people. Someone is afraid. Someone has a fear that the other person will move on. The other person will find someone else. The other person will have their happiness in some other place, you know, or some other person. That is definitely coming into the picture, causing uh, difficulties between you and this individual concerned. Let's look at the card in the bottom of the situation, the root of the issue, actually. I feel like uh, there's a difficulty to learn from mistakes here. There's a difficulty to learn from some of the problems that were happening between you and this individual. Right. Yeah, that's why someone walked away and things are not changing at this point of time. There's still love here. The two of you still have love, but uh, you see, it all fell to pieces in this situation. And uh, I feel like both you and this person concerned, even though there's still a lot of uh, feelings there. I do see from the cards that uh, things uh, fell apart very, very unexpectedly took you by surprise, took this person by surprise. And even though it was a very strong connection, you know, nothing is changing. And twice I'm seeing an indication here that someone is not learning from their mistakes. Someone is repeating, um, you know, some patterns, behaviors, things that are unhealthy in the situation, things that are not helping either you or this individual concerned. And it's making things even more difficult. So I do feel like between you and this person concerned that there's a need to change. There's a need to, um, you know, look at things very differently and not 
you know, um, do some of the mistakes there. So what I'm going to be doing in the extended reading is I'm going to be exploring the balance of these cards to see how the situation plays out. I'm also going to be looking at the energy of this individual and seeing what they're feeling towards the situation and how this relationship is going to be moving and what direction it's going to be taking. You can find the link in the description box below. For those of you that are unaware, there are yearly tarot card readings available. You can find those links in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.